I am the motographer. In 2019, I embarked on the journey of a lifetime on the fantastic Indian-made Bajaj Dominar 400s, christened as the XBB Dominar Creation Odyssey. The road trip went from New Delhi, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, and finally to the tip of Singapore and beyond to Sri Lanka. Here we go. So, guys, here I am standing in the aged city of Bagan, where there are still 4,000 pagodas, temples, stupas, and it was told that once upon a time there were around 10,000 of these structures, even more beautiful than this. This is actually made of brick, but a lot of such pagodas they have. Uh, golden spires and those go uh, that gold does not get dull i mean it's not a paint i don't know what it is but you know have a there's a there's a bike uh, the dominar is running absolutely beautiful and have a look at this come uh, from this angle this window shows you gotham bud inside and it's such a beautiful serene feeling to see him over there and i mean you know it's so quiet and this whole whole uh, place is like you know it's not swamped with tourists and it's the way we, we don't see too many of these temples in India I mean like in India there are always mostly a lot of people you know uh, and, and in numbers like in buses and you know crowding all over but I tell you this is the place where we have been standing doing our photography and just you know soaking in uh, for the last couple of hours and that says something so if you if you take an aerial view you'll see hundreds of such structures and most of them have buddhas also outside not only inside and that's a stupendous uh, sight so um, thankful that you know I, I visited myanmar it's been long due on my list and it started raining perhaps even the gods they want to thank you know say like welcome to myanmar or something this whole southeast asian belt we will not get uh, cold it will be only humid and it will be less rain if we had come around three months ago we, it would have been impossible for us to even ride there would have been so much uh, rain all over this belt but i guess that is what uh, the balance is it actually it's cooled down a little bit right now it's so humid unbelievable but we're having a nice time It kept raining in Bagan the day we were there, and it was getting very slippery. But that did not stop us from exploring it the way we wanted to. Wow, oh, this is amazing. Look at all this. And again, wherever you see a lot of pagodas, It is like riding in Amazon. <laughs> oh my god, this part is slippery. Okay. Wow. The tires are doing an amazing job. Oh. Moss! is not good
so this seems to be the traditional art here in Myanmar it's beautiful the way they are hanging in the air and uh, so these are apparently umbrellas and I don't know this guy is very happy seems like a farmer to me but a lot of resemblance to how we do things in India on my left on my right oh my god I think there must be more pagodas and temples here than houses मयनमार में आए और वहाँ की जो ट्रेडिशनल थाली है वो नहीं खाई तो क्या खाया तो ये रही वैसे ये वाली ज़्यादा सही लग रही है सुनील जी आपको मालूम है कि क्या क्या इसके अंदर है भाई चावल है वेट एक मिनट चावल है सैलड है और ये वेज करी उन्होंने बना के दे दी वेज करी आलू की सब्जी नहीं वैसे नॉर्मली इसमें नॉन वेज सब होता है ना ओके तो हमारे लिए स्पेशली वेज थाली बनाई है कितने की पड़ी है पता नहीं है बहुत सस्ता खाना है कितना फिर भी दस हजार की थाली है लेकिन क्यात्स में चौकी मत सिर्फ दस हजार क्यात्स मतलब करीब बेक्ड बीन और चावल मिला के खाए थे राजमा चावल बना के और अब ये चावल है और ये दाल का सूप है तो दोनों मिला के खाया जा रहा है दाल चावल बना के दाल चावल so big day in the road trip we are having a meet up with bikers from Bagan quite a spectacle in the market I do not know if these people are used to see such a big group of bikers together. The two on big bikes, because mostly the bikes that are here are those underbones. So this is three different groups. This is these two riders are from Warlord Riders Motorcycle Group, and. Uh, then we have uh, bikers of Bagan. Then uh, Burma Red Dragons Motorcycle Club. So of all the accessories we had fitted on our bikes during the XBSP Domina Great Asian Odyssey, the GPS come phone mount has to be our favorite one. It was literally our lifeline because without easy access to GPS navigation, we would have got lost. Imagine going from Delhi to Singapore on a motorcycle by road. Of course, you need to have a GPS. And taking cue from our ride, Bajaj has neatly put a GPS stay on the new Domina 400 which you see here, which makes your life definitely easier on the road. You can yourself check out all the new touring accessories on the new Domina 400 at your nearest Bajaj dealership. But for now, let's get back to the Odyssey. Check this out. Check it out. <laughs> this is Myanmar. <laughs> this is Myanmar, Bagan. It's not even a capital city. And the amount, number of bikers that have come to meet us on a rainy day, it's pretty amazing. And there's the icing on the cake with that temple behind us. It's amazing. After the group photo here, we headed to one more beautiful pagoda for our interactive session with the bikers.
Mingla ba? Mingla. Say one more time. Yeah, Mingla ba? Mingla. Thank you. So, unexpected number of bikers here in Myanmar. We are going to start very soon, and it's all about telling what we do in India and how they do motorcycling in Myanmar. So, let's go. It was our first meet with the bikers in Myanmar. And we were literally blown away by the love shown by these bikers. Some of them who had ridden all the way from Yangon, which was 800 kilometers one way. This is uh, Easy 9 and uh, Motorcycle Club and uh, Pakoku. Apparently they were formed in 2016. And that's what we should do. Like We should ride easy without any tension. Thank you so much. Okay. This is Bagan uh, Biker Group and uh, this, these are the colors in their uh, Myanmar flag. And so, yeah, and who, who is he? Like, uh, who is uh, The king, that's the king. Uh, the king. Yeah. 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 Okay, he's, he's the original king. Okay. So since 2017, so if we look at uh, most of the clubs are a little, uh, quite uh, new, young. Okay, thank you so much. So we just had easy riders give us uh, a gift. Now, they've gone a step ahead. They're simple free bikers. So, you know, this is all give, uh, you know, prevalent in Buddhist countries. In uh, Bhutan, they were doing a lot of uh, you know, rides for charity. And here they also try to practice a simple, uh, normal, easy like kind of uh, life through motorcycle, which is still not there in India. You know, we, we like fast bikes. I mean, we don't have that kind of a thought culture, most of us. But anyway, thank you so much. So, uh, they are called Warlord uh, Riders and uh, they have come from 70 kilometers away from here, which is around one and a half hours, one hour. They are giving us these stickers. Two or three of them will go on the bikes right now and two of them will go on the community wall at our ex bhp office. So, thank you so much for that. So, uh, they are called the uh, Mingyan uh, Biker Group. This one, uh, they have come from 80 kilometers away. I mean, I cannot imagine someone in India would do that, but uh, I mean, all I can say is thank you to them. And I, I really feel good and bad at the same time because they've come from so far and it's raining outside. But let me enjoy the moment. They're okay. called active riders. I was thinking that uh, only in India they have uh, such kind of creative names, but here also they have. But if I try to ask them right now, it would be too long a conversation because of uh, translation reasons. But yes, I'm feeling so happy that I have a lot of gifts from here. And it's good that we have an escort, you know, because they have a car, otherwise we won't be able to take them on the bikes. So again, thank you to them. So if someone comes to India, uh, you know that there's a biker group from another country. Would you ride 200 kilometers to meet them in another city? But these guys have come all the way from Mandalay to meet us 200 kilometers one way. Uh, I don't have any words to say, I'm blown off. And uh, they have this true biking spirit. I mean, there's nothing else which can justify it. Because we are not movie stars, we are just simple bikers and they have come all the way to meet us. 200 kilometers one way, I'm repeating again and again because I still don't believe it. And they are presenting us this and the stickers which we will treasure for a very long time. And, and, and if you look at uh, the, the emblems on, 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 on the jacket, you know, they are like very uh, neat. The they are from Pakoku, which is around 70-80 kilometers from here. And uh, I, I really like the logo. You know, just check out the logo. And it is funny that you know motorcycling has speaks the same language, and even the logos all around the world of different motorcycling groups, I have found that inevitably they have the cylinders, or they have a helmet, or they have a tire, or they have flames. I mean, it is like the universal language of motorcyclists. I don't think there is any other uh, hobby or passion which unites people of different languages in such a way. I mean, I cannot talk to him right now properly. Maybe, you know, a lot of people don't, I mean, because I don't know uh, Burmese. So, uh, but we don't need to, you know, we rode, we had a lot of fun 
and that is what motorcycling is all about. 800 so, uh, <laughs> let me get this straight. That uh, these I was talking about someone coming from um, Mandalay, which is 200 kilometers one way, but they have come from 400 kilometers no, one way. 800 kilometers one way. I'm sorry, <laughs> one way 800 kilometers from Yangon. I I don't know what to say. It's like an iron butt to uh, the cumulative, uh, cumulative like 1600 kilometers just to meet us. Is that right? Just to meet us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I mean, I have no words. I, I and they are giving us a T-shirt, which is you can see. This is one of the most beautiful logos I have seen. Now, what is this? Here? Dragon. It's a dragon. Dragon. <coughs> the dragon. It's a dragon. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a dragon which uh, we saw a lot in uh, in in uh, Bhutan. I, I I want to tell them that I'm very honored and. Uh, I mean, if they come to India, uh, Delhi especially, so I will try to arrange motorcycles for them and I will try to help them in every possible way. We are thankful to each and every biker who participated in this meet and helped us organize it. So right now we are sitting in our uh, hotel lounge and uh, this is going to be a, a cultural show here at the hotel. So it's going to be a good fun evening. Let's see.